Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 32nd series of uh, Principles of uh, Drug Discovery. In this video, we are going to see about uh, drug likeness screening. What is drug likeness property? Drug likeness refers to the set of properties that determine the potential of a chemical compound to become a drug candidate. It is a concept used in early stages of uh, drug discovery and development to evaluate whether a particular compound has the necessary characteristics to be a viable drug for therapeutic use. The goal of drug likeness assessment is to identify molecules that have a higher likelihood of being absorbed, distributed, metabolized and excreted in a way that is safe and effective for treating a particular disease or condition. Factors to be considered to evaluate the drug likeness of a compound. Structural properties, molecular weight, uh, hydrogen bonds, lipophilicity, topology, polar surface area that is TPSA, uh, ionization constant, shape, these are all uh, contributes to structural properties of a molecule. Then physicochemical properties such as solubility, permeability, chemical st stability are all physicochemical properties. Then pharmacokinetic properties bioavailability, half-life, clearance, lethal dose 50, uh, LD50, all these contribute to pharmacokinetic properties. Then biochemical properties, metabolism, transporter affinity, target affinity, all these contribute to the biochemical properties. What are the rules uh, to find the drug likeness? First is Lipinski's rule of 5. It is also known as rule of 5. It is a set of guidelines used in drug discovery and medicinal chemistry to assess the drug likeness of small organic molecules. These rules were proposed by Christopher A. Lipinski in 1997 as a way to identify the compounds that are more likely to have favorable pharmacokinetic properties and higher chance of becoming successful oral drugs. Let us see the rule in brief. Uh, molecular weight. The molecular weight of a compound should be less than 500 kilo daltons. Daltons. Lipophilicity that is log P. The calculated uh, octanol water coefficient should be less than 5. Log P measures the compound's ability to dissolve in lipids relative to its uh, solubility in water. Hydrogen bond donors. The number of hydrogen bond donors that is like a hydroxyl group or NH groups should be less than or equal to 5. Hydrogen bond acceptors. The number of hydrogen bond acceptors that is N or oxygen atoms should be less than or equal to 10. So put together uh, the drug should be obey all the lead molecule should obey all these rules to become uh, a drug. But there is another rule called Weber's rule which is also used to predict the drug likeness. Weber's rule, also known as Weber's guidelines, is another set of criteria used to assess the drug likeness of small molecules in drug discovery and medicinal chemistry. These guidelines were proposed by Peter Weber and his colleagues as an extension of Lipinski's rule of 5. Weber's rule specifically focuses on, the, on predicting the oral bioavailability of potential character candidates by considering the compound's flexibility. The number of rotatable bonds in the molecule should be less than or equal to 10. So it is the one of the important rule which tells about the rotatable bonds. So rotatable bonds are single bonds that can freely rotate around uh, their axis allowing the molecule to adopt different conformations. Molecules with a higher number of rotatable bonds are generally more flexible which can hinder their ability to bind tightly to a specific target as well as their pharmacokinetic properties such as oral absorption. So the rationale behind the Weber's rule is that the molecules with too many rotatable bonds might exhibit poor, water, poor oral bioavailability due to their increased flexibility leading to challenges in forming stable interactions with the biological targets and encountering difficulties in crossing the cell membranes. The next rule is Gauss rule uh, which is used to predict the drug likeness. Gauss rule also known as Gauss filter or Gauss filter rules 
is another set of guidelines used in uh, drug discovery to assess the drug likeness of small organic molecules. It was proposed by Sri Hari Ghosh and his uh, colleagues as a complementary approach to Lipinski's rule of five. Ghosh's rule focuses on different physicochemical properties to evaluate the drug likeness of compounds. So Ghosh's rule uh, takes into account the molecular weight. The molecular weight of the compound should be between 160 to 480 Daltons. Log P, the calculated uh, octanol uh, water partition coefficient uh, that is log P should be between minus 0 0.4 and 5.6. Molar refractivity, the molar refractivity value should be between uh, 40 and 130. Then the number of uh, atoms, the total number of atoms in a molecule should be between 20 to 70. Next uh, guideline is Opria's rule for drug likeness. Tudor Opria is known for his work in developing computational methods and rules for drug discovery, including the concept of molecular complexes and the rule of three for filtering the uh, potential drug like molecules. The rule of three proposed by Opria and his colleagues is somewhat similar to Lipinski's rule of five, but with more lenient criteria. That is, the molecular weight uh, should be less than or equal to 300 Daltons. Log P should be less than or equal to 3, that is the octanol water partition coefficient. Then the number of hydrogen bond donors should be less than or equal to 3. So that is why it is called rule of 3. The number of hydrogen bond acceptors should be less than or equal to 3. Next is other rules. Uh, there are some other rules uh, which are used for drug likeness. One is Muge's rule for drug likeness. Pharmacophore, it takes into account the pharmacophoric features. Pharmacophore points should be between 2 to 7. That is Muge's rule. Next is Eagen rule. Eagen rule considers can, uh, a candidate drug to have oral bioavailability with uh, minus 1. Log P should be less than uh, 0.58 and uh, less than 5.8 total polar surface area should be less than 130 armstrongs verma's rule for uh, drug likeness a molecular weight should be less than 500 total polar surface area should be less than 125 hydrogen bond donor plus hydrogen bond acceptor uh, should be uh, approximately 9 number of rotatable bonds should be approximately 12 not exceeding that so these are some of the rules for to assess the drug likeness so the drug likeness properties related to absorption, we will connect this as absorption, distribution, metabolism and elimination. <coughs> First we will see the absorption. So uh, it takes into account the basic uh, physicochemical properties. So it uh, the, uh, the features uh, which are uh, taken into account for uh, the absorption are log S. It should be approximately 10 microgram uh, per ml greater than then log D should be between uh, 1 to 5, that is log distribution. Log P should be between uh, 0 to 3. And uh, P glycoprotein uh, inhibitor or substrate will be assessed. Then human intestinal absorption and bioavailability may be assessed by computational uh, methods. Next is uh, <coughs> drug likeness properties related to distribution. So here, for distribution, the features which are uh, taken into consideration are plasma protein binding uh, should be approximately greater than uh, 90%. Volume of uh, distribution should be between 0.04 to 20 and whether it crosses the blood brain barrier or not that is taken into consideration. Next is uh, the drug likeness properties related to metabolism. So it takes into account uh, similar uh, different uh, CIP enzymes. Uh, where it inhibits or it acts as a substrate. One is uh, CYP1A2, uh, CYP2C9, CYP2C19, CYP2D6 and CYP3A4. Next is uh, the drug likeness properties related to excretion. So it takes into consideration the renal clearance, the hepatic clearance and biological half-life. So these features are taken into consideration for drug elimination. Next is uh, drug likeness properties related to toxicity. So they are 
they check the cell viability by AMS test. HERG to determine the cardiotoxicity, hepatotoxicity uh, by uh, taking uh, into consideration drug induced liver injury, then LD50, lethal dose 50, then uh, skin sensitization, and recommended uh, daily dose could be predicted by using computational methods. So, the online tools uh, to predict the drug likeness, there are too many tools. I have given very few. One is Admat Lab, which is free to use. So here, it uh, there is an input. You can uh, input uh, in uh, smiles or uh, STF format. So uh, when you input this, it uh, calculates based on the algorithms. It calculates absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion, toxicity, and drug likeness, and it gives the output for each. Uh, that is uh, absorption, distribution, metabolism, elimination, toxicity and drug likeness will be given as a output. It is free of use. Next is Swiss ADME. So it takes into consideration different properties. One is uh, the physical chemical properties like molecular weight, uh, number of hydrogen bond donors, hydrogen bond acceptors, molar refractivity, to total uh, polar surface area. Then lipophilicity can be uh, documented with uh, log p octanol water coefficient then water solubility with uh, log s yes. uh, then uh, pharmacokinetics uh, with uh, ga absorption blood brain barrier uh, penetration then uh, peak glycoprotein uh, substrate or inhibitor metabolism with uh, inhibition or substrate for sip enzymes like 1a2 2c9 2c19 2d6 and 3a4 then uh, like uh, as we discussed uh, the Lipinski is goes Weber Egan Muge rule uh, it gives whether it uh, obeys or it violates and then uh, additionally it gives uh, the pains score these are the functional groups which are toxic which could be identified that is called uh, pains then lead likeness could be uh, documented with Swiss ADME it is free to use there are some other tools like a PKCSM admit SAR like other things PKCSM is free to use. Other tools are uh, like quick prop from Schrodinger is a paid version. So it's a very short information of uh, drug likeness uh, screening. I hope it will be useful for you. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. Go through all the videos which is present in the playlist uh, Principles of uh, Drug Discovery and uh, score well in your uh, exams by going through all the videos in uh, Pharma Topics channel. Thank you.